Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quarter circle as you can see in this uh, diagram uh, such that uh, this line segment AB is uh, 24 units and this line segment BC is uh, 10 units such that the angle between them is uh, 90 degrees. And now we are going to calculate the radius of this uh, quarter circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Since we are going to calculate this radius OA, let me go ahead and label this radius as lowercase r and now we are going to find the value of r. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, these points A and C. And here's our much nicer looking diagram and we can see that this uh, ABC is our right triangle. And now let's go ahead and calculate this uh, side length uh, AC. And now since we are dealing with this uh, right triangle, therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and represent this longest leg as c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 24. So this has become 24 square plus b is 10. So this is going to become 10 square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and simplify this equation. 24 square is 576 plus 10 square is 100 equal to c square. So therefore c square equal to 676. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So this square and square root is gone. So therefore our c value turns out to be the square root of 676 is 26. So therefore this side length ac turns out to be 26 units. And since we are dealing with this challenging problem, so therefore we have to be very creative. So therefore we are going to think outside the box. So therefore we are going to consider this uh, semicircle and now let's recall the Thales theorem according to this theorem if these points uh, A, B and D are on the circle where this angle A, B, D is 90 degrees then this line A, D is going to be the diameter if this uh, is our radius r then this has got to be our radius r as well and here's our next step let's focus on these two triangles uh, aoc and uh, doc and we know that this triangle aoc is 90 degrees then this angle has got to be 90 degrees as well then we can see that these two triangles AOC and this triangle DOC are our congruent triangles since uh, this side length uh, is R and this side length uh, is radius R as well and this is our common side length and moreover the angles between them are 90 degrees each. So therefore these two triangles are congruent according to side angle side theorem. Since these two triangles are congruent so therefore this side length is going to be equal to this side length CD. If this is 26 units then this side has got to be 26 units as well. So therefore our side length CD turns out to be 26 units. Now we can see that this whole side length BD is the sum of these two individual side lengths BC and CD. So therefore our this side length BD is going to be 2010 plus 26 that is going to give us 
36 units so therefore our this whole side length bd turns out to be 36 units and here's our next step let's focus on this big triangle abd and we can see that this is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's once again our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and we know that this side length ad is the longest leg so i'm going to call this side c i'm going to call this side a and this side b and we know that this uh, diameter is going to be r plus r so therefore this side length ad is going to be 2r so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean uh, formula a in our case is 24 so this is going to become 24 square plus b in our case is 36 square and c in our case is 2r so this is going to become 2r whole square let's go ahead and simplify this equation 24 square is 576 plus 36 square is 1296 is going to be 4r square so therefore let's add these numbers so 4r square equals to 1872 and so r square turns out to be 468 now let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides and now let's focus on this uh, square root of 468 and here i have copied it down and we can see that 468 could be broken down to 4 times 117 so if we simplify everything this turns out to be 2 times square root of 117 so therefore on the left hand side this square and square root undo each other so r turns out to be 2 times the square root of 117 so that's how this radius r turns out to be 2 times square root of 117 units so thus the radius turns out to be 2 times square root of 17 units or it is approximately equal to 21.63 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye